guys and welcome to the most magical place on earth. Yes, my name is Tom Derrick from Bean Park Coasting and today we're over here at Disneyland California for one of my most exciting vlogs ever. And today with me is we've got Adam and my dad who Hello. used to work for Disney and now over here at the original park. So excited for this. Speechless, I'm literally speechless and emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful place, beautiful. Just walking in and we have never ever been in the park like this before. We've obviously been to Paris as well as Disney World, but entering here, we just, oh my god, I can't even mention how excited I am for this. And all of this around here is our first time reactions. So every step that I take into this park is the first time for me, my dad, and the rest of my family. So I have to ask Sadler now, what are you expecting of, well, Disneyland California? Okay, at the start, like, I was like five, and then I looked at the Disney parks and I thought, this is one of the ones I really, really, really want to go to. Before I knew, obviously, it was the main park. But then, like, suddenly, like, last year, we knew we were actually going to be going into this park. And honestly, the reason why we came in today, if I was to say, can I say? Yeah, the reason why we came in today was because the Haunted Mansion is open. We weren't actually meant to come in today, but also they off the new Halloween season, so the Haunted Mansion wasn't open. So, we made a special trip down, um, yeah, today to get the Haunted Mansion done. Yeah, and actually, I do have to warn you quickly, guys, that much of today will be just rolling the camera because I just don't want to stop it. I want to show you every little bit around here as it is my first time as well. But I also want to keep that subscriber count rolling as we have hit 520 and I want to keep that going up and up and up. So if you are new here, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And look at that massive horn up there. Wow, honestly. It is, it, when people say this place is the magical place on earth, they are not wrong at all. We have met many who just said, I'm not going to go to the other parks because it is the original. And yes, they're right. This is amazing and wow, honestly. Tom, the, light, the light's on in the fire station there. Yeah. That's where Walter Parman was, do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walter Parman Fire Station Parman. And actually, we saw some of the chairs and furniture which was in there inside the Disneyland Family Museum at the start of our California road trip. So make sure you go that video as well, just up there. But first time reactions, wow, what did you guys think of it? Just um, so yeah, it's so magical to see the original one. Look how busy it is, Tom. It's amazing. It's like Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, it's six o'clock, and oh, it is just still packed. And anyway, for the big castle, whoa, so calm down, guys. That is massive. Whoa. You are in fact, wow. That is absolutely amazing. Dad, ready to race through the castle? So small. Massive, this warning is big. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and that's tiny, though, compared to how tiny is that? It's cute. Do you know what? This whole place is amazing. It's a lot smaller than Paris and obviously smaller than Florida. But it's got a lovely, amazing feel about it. Happiest place on earth? Yes. Yeah, and before we went to Denny's and just sitting in there, we just thought we had to come in here. And we were only going to do a downtown Disney vlog today, but the second we walked into his park, my dad went over to us and said, Guys, do you want to pay another £40 and go into Disneyland for today? And actually, it is open until midnight tonight, so we've got six hours of fun over here. There used to be a tobacco shop there when it first opened, that oh, shop there. I've heard of that, yeah. There used to be a tobacco shop selling cigarettes. Hello, I've heard Not stuff around here, as my dad is a massive Disney fan, he'll be informing us a lot about all of the facts around here and do stuff like how the streets get narrower and everything like that. It's all going to be in this video. As well, if you didn't notice when you were filming the castle, the castle is actually new. If you look at the top of it, the blue sparkles, it's actually new. It's the only one in the world that's actually got the blue sparkles. So I actually really like it. I think it gets more the texture to it. But I would have liked to be into the main one because when we booked it, it, all, it had the main one. We had no idea it was going furbish. And then like, we were just sitting at home and we were thinking, is it going to open in time? Or is it still going to have scaffolding around? Thank God, thank you, uh, Disneyland California. It's open. So yeah, and I've got to admit, like, we, we wish we did see it when it was first around. But at least it hasn't got, like, all bored in the front of it. Because I've seen many YouTubers who are going to come down here, look at like, mental. But when they got in here, there's just boards in front of it, and I would have been absolutely devastated. And I couldn't see, well, this humongous castle down the end of Main Street, USA. And now, I know I'm going to dread saying this when I watch this back, but we're going to see you 
our first attraction. And that is going to be the Haunted Mansion. Actually, the only haunted house over Disneyland Park to feature the lift actually going down because in all other parks they've actually got the lift staying where it is and then actually the room around it goes up this one it actually goes down which is a little known fact to you that I know actually before my dad goes into more detail about this attraction but as you guys also know this is going to be the last day that this ride is open before the Halloween season because they're going to refurb it, make it more interesting and make it way more magical for uh, well Mickey's not so scary Halloween but Haunted Mansion, Adam, you were one who were really gutted when you thought you were going to attend this. But now what do you think? Yeah, I was mega, mega gutted. All my best rides ride. But then I suddenly came here and I knew I was about to ride this ride. Honestly, I'm so happy. So happy we came for another day. Like I said, I would do anything to come in today. But yeah, I'm finally here. So. Yeah. Wow, I want to say, is that the Haunted Mansion? I don't know if it is. Yeah, I think it is actually. It's a weird Haunted Mansion, honestly. Anyway, let's now go through the entrance and see you on the channel. This creates an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. <laughs> the real chills come later. Now, as they say, look at us. a very spectacular ride and actually it was pretty good basically the same in my opinion as Florida and Paris but there's a few years about it which is different obviously it is its 50th anniversary this year so happy birthday Haunted Mansion special merch as well for it and yeah the queue is very different as well as normally it's walk one but today it was 40 minutes so a bit of a different surprise for us over there on the Haunted Mansion as well as the end going up the escalator I thought it was pretty cool as they still kept the spooks going it wasn't like East Dark Universal where you have the ride you walk through this like building they still had a bit of an ending towards it but Adam what did you think of it? Well, I've got to say, that was absolutely amazing. I, I couldn't really feel the difference between the Paris one and basically the Paris one and the Florida one to this one as the floor obviously does go down. But the one thing I know about the, the, the difference is, is that the end you take an escalator. That was actually my favourite part. Because also at Nibbert, then I went there and it looked really cool because like, the senior was there. It was the like, ending off the story for you. And that was actually really, really good. But like the soundtrack and everything was really good. And we, we stopped a couple of times uh, just uh, for the sell people to get on, and that's fair play. But it was actually a very good ride, really good. Yeah, it's quite a home clips in there as well, as it was dark. 
So, a bit hard for a camera which doesn't really adapt very well towards the dark to film it. However, we have to try hoping that works tonight as we are staying very, very late tonight and going to have an amazing time. But, Dad, Haunted Mansion. It's really good. I think, it's, I think it was a bit like Florida. I can't remember properly. But I think it's a bit more like Florida than Paris. But really good fun. Worth doing. Uh, closes today as well. I don't know if you mentioned that. But closes today for the season. Yeah, for, for the season until the Halloween event comes along, which we're going to add some changes to. So if you are watching this, and it's going to be a to upload, probably like, well, I'm filming this today on August 20 something. I think it's August 20th. So it'll probably upload around September sometime. So it'll be near the Halloween season. So if you are watching this, come down here and complete the Haunted Mansion for Halloween. But Mum, you're lost now. What do you think of it? Of the um, Haunted Mansion, yeah. Haunted Mansion, yeah. I liked it. It was good. It was nice to. Uh, I think I'd have been upset if we hadn't um, been able to have the opportunity to do it. Really good. Yeah, and there's a few rides actually around the park, especially this one, which we may not be able to do it for a whole trip. But as we're coming in today, we're going to manage to do rides as well, such as Space Mountain. And now we're heading now. So, let's go towards Space Mountain. In Tomorrowland at Rowan. And I think this is the most weird feeling land over here at, well, Disneyland, because the Astro Normals and things down at this entrance. And if you don't know, I just don't know, up there, that track up there is actually, was actually home to the People Mover when this was over here. And the only way you can now find the People Mover is over at Disney World. So go down here, but the People Mover can only stand at Disney World from now on. And you can see the stage that you see there up there. Why are they gone? I don't know. But there you go, a little fact for you guys. And finally, they moved it to Florida. Yeah, they moved to Florida. They moved it to Florida. It was here, and then they moved it to Florida. See, you yeah, know everything I don't. But uh, what I do know now is it's Anne's first ever Space Mountain. Yeah, it's so ever Space Mountain. Only recently, Anne's made his first ever loop over at Fort Park Resort, our home park in the UK. Which I'm sorry if you are Fort Park watching this, but nothing compares to this. He did Colossus, and now, throughout this American trip, he's been up and running, doing all the big roller coasters. But now, he's doing one of the Disney classics, and yeah. I'm excited for it. Yes, yeah, so I'm mega excited. Like, I built up to be really excited for this ride. So I was just saying a minute ago as well, I, I can't believe my first ever Space Mountain is going to be their original Space Mountain. That is going to be amazing. And it. <laughs> I've just seen this, I'm so excited. It's not Space Mountain, it's Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. And only a 35 minute queue, and next to Alien Pizza Planet, and whatever at Disneyland, my home park. Because as I said to you at the start, this is my first time over here. We've been to Disneyland Paris, where well, I've been 14 to 15 times over there. But it's still it's the same vibe as you enter a Disney ride. Uh, yeah. The reason why I was so excited, I just saw the half this mountain, is because it's not usually half this mountain. Disney and California have different themes. For the um, Halloween season, they've got uh, Ghost Galaxy. Um, for the main season, they've got the uh, just Space Mountain. But I didn't know, because I was fingers crossed, I was hoping there would be like a theme this time. And actually, I did not know, but it's actually Star Wars theme, one of my favourite themes, one of my favourite movies in the world. I'm just so excited. It's going to be amazing. I'm just saying out there, Jaden, you would love this. It's so cool. I understand. I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I know nothing about all of it. Like, they are, how do you call it, very looking up on the facts. I just went in the far past keep asking. They know the facts, like, off by heart, but I don't even know any of it. So, if you're going to talk to anyone about facts, talk to them too, because I feel absolutely speechless at the moment about this. However, I am looking forward to it because, yes, Jaden. Isn't going to this one over here, but hopefully one day we'll be able to head with Jane over to another Disney park so we can complete a half of the If it is Disneyland Paris, yes, it'll be Star Wars again. But the station building as well is weird. There's a great big massive corn up there. And if I am talking too fast, I have to apologise. It's just the adrenaline is absolutely rushing through my body, and I know I get comments saying that I talk too fast. However, I just can't stop it really, especially like this, a full park I'm trying to try as all the comments to you from you. I can resolve apply them in 24 hours and I'll take all of them into consideration. But yeah, it's a weird up here, isn't it, Dad? It's a bit weird, this, because... Is anyone else it was on funny this well, side? It's downstairs, I was going to say, I don't know if you saw it, but like in Paris the Caribbean of Paris, they have a thing, a restaurant, where you sit by the ride as it goes past. Downstairs, they had a restaurant, 
that sits by the queue line as it goes past oh, to get into here. It's slightly awkward, I think I'd rather sit by a ride than sit by the queue line. And I've got to say, queue the Matterhorn. Yeah. Yeah. The Matterhorn. And I'll come back to you, is it a good sport actually to watch the Disney uh, fireworks from? Because the fireworks are just up there, and the, as you see the castle just past there. So it is. A, I think it's just down there, isn't it? The castle's over that way, I think. Oh, yeah, well, they, they, could, they knew about that. Get everyone to get reserved seating. Ah, wow. And as well, I've got two to say. First thing, the park is going to start getting quieter now. But then we're watching the fireworks. Probably won't be watching it today, but we've got a couple more days to do the fireworks. Second thing is, um, as it's obviously Star Wars, there will be a, we'll show you some theming around Star Wars this time. Uh, on that floor, they've already got like crash badge on Star Wars. And personally, well, I'm so excited for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It just looks amazing. But I'm happy to do this as well. This will be really cool. Yeah, yeah and another thing I didn't know is until today, I didn't realise. Star Wars Galaxy Edge was in um, Disneyland. I'm sick of aren't I? Honestly, I thought it was over in Disney California Adventure. So, lots of scary things surprise me. And start with this, we're going to head today. But I want to have my first reactions at night. But yeah, here we go. Just basically landed one of the longest queues I've ever seen. And wow. That looks good. Very day it is an amazing attraction. But Adam, it was your first time riding it, so what did you think? Yeah, I mega enjoy Space Mountain. Or should I call it Hype Space Mountain as a season? But it was a really, really like tame ride. It wasn't jolty at all, really. And though the pit, that though it's in pitch black, and it's quite cool because you're indoors, pitch black, and you bump it up and down. And That's quite cool. Um, but yeah. The Star Wars made it. That was incredible. Uh, the spoilers are happening right now, so yeah, most of us are leaving. But like, if, when you come indoors, there's like as you're going up the lift hill, there's like flashing lights coming at you. But obviously, like the legs from Star Wars, and then you go round, you feel like you're actually in the Death Star and stuff, like in the planets. It's really cool. And then you go up to Alien Pizza Planet. It's really cool. Well. Yeah, look at dark here now. Okay, honestly, Ooh, yeah. it's just gone so dark. And I want to do a night ride over on Mashup Pod. Yeah. But I say yeah, it was good. It was kind of the same as uh, I imagine over at uh, over at Florida. However, I do still have my soft spot for the one over at Paris, and especially for that special story I have with it, which is I think at Paris I was seven years old, I might say, and I was like close to being on it. But they do that's when they said, oh, you just go on it, it'll be fine. I've got, I was going to end the queue and I was like, I'll leave it till tomorrow. I went back the next day, oh, it was closed. That was my last day of a holiday, so I went back. But when I was younger, I used to go to Disneyland Paris twice a year. I was very lucky before Adam was born. No, no, it's okay, no, no, Thanks. no. no, no. Uh, I was going to go twice a year, so I was like, I'll come back later on in the year and do it again. I came back. High Space Mountain is getting refurbed into a Star Wars theme, so I could not do Space Mountain 2. Which I was gutted about because I really wanted to do it. But then I went back in the latest vlog over at Paris and did it for the first time and wow, that was good. And all of all of the high speed manager stuff all have the launch going up. All over in Paris and Florida uh, not Paris, this in Florida have the lights going up. The Paris has a special thing where the window opens, so you can look out and then it goes up. And that just Pushes out of limits, so yeah, it does. But as you now leave, imagination, not imagination center. I'm not a lecker, I know we had No, we're at uh, Disney, like Disneyland California. How can I get confused? One of the worst ever lands at any theme parks. <laughs> and one of oh, the yeah, yeah. best lands ever yeah. in the world. 
I don't know how to do it. But now we're heading on to one ride, which I have never ever done anything like it, and nor has Adam. And I'm going to let you mention what we're going to do. Okay, firstly, I'm going to spot that Oh, yeah, it's gone now. It was just something like it's gone. Got in, yeah. Second thing, the ride is going to be the Matterhorn. I think it's the first ever Disney ride, and obviously, we're Disney fans, so we will love it and i think we're going to go into the tomorrowland entrance we may go into fantasyland entrance i don't really know what the difference is except for one was in the water one doesn't i don't think but it's going to be good i don't think i'm going to be like well that was a good ride i think i'll be a bit like eggfish and everest uh, at Walt disney world i think we'll that out yeah, and I think we're going to do the fantasy land to start off with, only because we're heading over in the direction towards Fantasyland, and we left Tomorrowland. But one thing I really want to do is head for the castle shortly, just to say that I have done the iconic castle. But you have to wait until near the end for us to do that, as we're now heading over towards the Bobsay. And first impressions. Look at that. That is mental. Not, uh, uh, yeah. Funny, from a little distance away, it looks quite small. From here, it looks really cool tall. Apparently, there's, I think it's a softball court inside this one. So in Everest, in Disney World, it's a basketball court, and apparently there's a softball court inside this one. Yeah. For stuff. And that view has some stuff with the original cable car, yeah. which used to be over here. And it used to actually go through the whole way, they closed it, but you still couple like cable car tracks, so if you are on the attraction, go and have a look at it. But we're kind of walking in the middle where the electrical parade will come in effect. And now heading over towards Matter on. However, it is not open for another hour due to the light parade, which you will be watching. So instead, we're getting a bit more vibe and head into the brand new area for 2019. Yes, yeah. I'm talking about Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Wow, I've been watching it for the opening. We told someone in the Haunted Magic 2 who we went here for the opening, and now it is our opportunity to see this land in the dark for the first time. Yes, guys. My name is Tom Deck and this is Galaxy Edge and I apologise to anyone who hasn't seen this before as this is going to be all amazing. Wow! Already just entering. This is meant to be the worst entrance to enter on but as we are theme park coasting we like to mix it up a little bit and I'm excited to quickly to keep it with you. excited? I am so excited! Like Star Wars are like, as I have been one of my favourite movies ever oh. and this my you guys are now amazing. God. Look at that! If you know what theming is, you haven't been to Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Yes. <laughs> Look behind you, Tom. Whoa! That is, that is phenomenal, wow! Oh my god! That is... That is actually speechless, and I'm not even kidding. I've actually never felt so immersed with a theme park before. And, see they say theme parks, it's supposed to be funny, so let me take a photo. People say theme parks, and this is what I'm talking about. Wow, you can tell it cost them one billion pounds to make. All the theme is what they in here. You cannot see at all with any other part of the park. If I go a full panel of around here, you cannot see any other aspect of the park as you get so immersed within this land. And there's a special real special bottle oh, yeah, in here. I'll show you them. Special coat bottle. Yeah, special coat bottle in there. Look at that. Wow. I can't go over it. That is phenomenal. And the one in Florida is opening within a couple of days actually now. So, mega excited for that. But I'm going to get my phone and I think some snacks credit your office and talk to you guys about how amazing this is. And like, look at this. It's just breathtaking. And I know some of you will be used to America and like, oh, this is one of the normal lands for us. But for us, over. If you've ever seen Fall Park before and then you look at this, there's just no comparison to it. Yes, it is packed. And I can tell that, but I don't know anyone who wouldn't come in here and be just like, wow. You can just hear all the reactions of everyone. God's sake. This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And we aren't actually going to go on the ride because there's only one ride here. As we are going to watch the electrical parade. But I'll stay tuned to tomorrow's vlog as we head on this ride. And oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not being a Star Wars fan, but I can tell you that is amazing. At this moment in time, I want to mention Jaden. I feel really sorry for you. I want to say maybe you can come out with us one day. But 
What is that? Like Neverland, the Perth That is the Millennium Falcon. Neverland is like Wow. Every year, me and Jaden and Adam watch the new Star Wars movie that comes out. So if you go to see this in real life, and I think it has to be one of the best themed areas in the world. Like, wow. This is an uncomparable un look at that thing. People are going to be standing here for ages watching it. And I can't do it. I don't, it's don't funny because on this trip we've been saying the Six Flags got a lot of theming. Wow, look at Six Flags, that's theming. Look at this, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. I don't think it will. Um, I don't think on the camera, I don't think you'll get the full view of what it's like to standing inside this. Yeah. Okay, quite often, Lee, I go and say how amazing it is. And you're thinking, oh, Tom, you're just exaggerating it all. But you have to cover yourself, guys. Like, I'm over here to tell you what to do, how to do it, and try influencing you to do the right day for you guys. But with lots of the scene around here, and this in the park, I'm not the person who's going to make it magical for you. It's the park. Which is gonna make it magical for you. I'm just your number one travel guide over here to do a theme parks. But I'm a travel guide. I'm not a person who is telling you what to do and how to do it. I'm just a person who is showing you around these places and recommending coming. And out of all the theme parks that we've been to on this California Red trip, this is the one. This is gonna be the one which I say I'm anywhere. Spend four days here at least like we're doing. And even longer actually, because wow. Just wow. The ride is there. Looking forward to it. Unfortunately, there's no coasters here. But we're just going to show you more about Star Wars land. Look at that. And after showing you a few clips, I just want to mention again how amazing that is. And the new ride will be located around this area. Oh, I just heard Adam say, Wow, I just got to you can mention how far from the highest bump is. Just the adrenaline rushing into it, and I don't really feel that when I'm on the roller coaster. But over here, you do. Just every look, I can look there, Star Wars. I can look even there, Star Wars, and nothing. Under the find this and Chewbacca's there for photos and stuff, walking around. And quite often there's like Storm Jimmy walking around here and watching on the YouTube video before we came. All the press events, all the other videos, I was breathtaking just watching that. And, but now being here in person, you need to come here, guys. I'm not even kidding. Boys, we're not joking around. I, I do have to announce it's my favourite ever theme park land, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, uh, Design California uh, Park, but it's just absolutely incredible. But like, everywhere you look, like, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, no, I love it, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but it's just like everything, like even them cars there, like there's mountains everywhere, it's just absolutely stunning, and I recommend anyone who likes Star Wars to come down here, and they'll probably stop at Halloween as well. But I gotta say, by the end you'll see me having one of those Sprite bottles. They look really cool. They're, yeah. But the but prices are around the Sprite, Coca Cola, and Dark Coke are about four ninety five uh, dollars, and the water is about three ninety five I think dollars. So not that bad pricing obviously, but they're so cool. The bottles you gotta get one. Then the like souvenir as well. Like yes, it is a drink, and yes, pricey isn't it? But. Come over to San Francisco where it's like seven pounds for a bottle of water. It's not awful, but we're now leaving the land, fortunately. And yeah, it makes Harry Potter at Universal look stupid, really. Like, that is just. And when we come back in another two days' time, that's tomorrow, we're heading over towards California Adventure to do the incredible coasters, stuff like that. We will be definitely heading back in this area doing the attraction. So stay tuned to that vlog in around another two weeks or one and a half weeks time. <sighs> but wow. <laughs> My heart is slowing down now, so I'm going to ask Mummy why it slows down. What did you think of that area? I'm speechless. I've never seen theming like that. That was amazing and I can't wait to explore it more. We did, we only had a little taster then, but that was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I think, yeah, they've done it really, 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 really well. <laughs>
Yeah, I can't wait to get back into that land. Yeah, and you've gone on a tourist way, or even maybe you go back in today. It might, it might be Tuesday. But yeah. it probably is Tuesday, and back into Fantasia land. Now. Fantasia. Fantasia. Oh, God, I'm shocked. We've been driving from San Diego today to come here. We've been on the beach today, and, and now we're here tonight. I've been vlogging for, well, five days in a row. Obviously, more than just that, because my father's dead in the row. Obviously, I had everything. Then I had a break for like a day when I, when I, was, when I was just on the travel day upwards. Did one over at Beaumont Park, which was amazing. And then now I'm back today, we're back to the little vlog. So my voice feels shattered, but we're now going to head over towards the light parade. <laughs> first parade over at Disneyland California. One of the main ones and actually the one that's kept the soundtrack for all the years over here at the park. And Light Parade, what do you think of it? Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, definitely worth seeing. I think they're obviously better than the Universe ones, especially the Animal Rights ones. But, like, I don't even want the Universe ones to good. But this parade overall, it was quite good. I think it was the same as the Florida one. That's why we left a bit early to get some more eyes. But overall, it was actually quite a good parade. Like, I came in thinking it's going to be good because Disney, obviously, uh, that sent me up there. But then I thought it's going to be good, but not me. Wait a well, what the hell's that? What the hell's that? There's something going along with that. Whoa. Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic, that's it. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see that on Tuesday. Yeah, you got to wait for that, guys. Yeah, wait for that. But that's why it's so busy around too as well. But we're now going to see where we're going to head next. We're hoping to pick Fun Lantern, but apparently that's closed. And I thought I had Patrick within like a show centre, but no, it's just oh. up there. So, little sneak peek for you guys. Still going on Tuesday. But we're now going to go around towards where we're going now, Dad. Is that where we're going? I think we're going to try and find Big Thunder Mountain, but it's our first time here. The problem is it looks a bit like Paris. You think you know where you're going, then you find out you don't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Here. I think we I know We did actually pass it on the way of the Star Sky and Sketch. But yeah, you found it. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And actually, the one over in Paris has something a bit weird to it. As one over in Paris actually has our initials, uh, well, I'm saying initials. It actually says Derek on one of the can. Uh, has one of the, it says Derek on one of like the rocks of I think TNT boxes. So if you ever go over there, one of the boxes says Derek on it. So stay tuned to that, see if you can find it, and send it on Instagram over towards me. And I'll there's there's no hint for it. No, we're not going to show the whole thing. We're not watching the whole thing. Um, but one thing to point out, I want to have two days here at least because um, if you want to see both the parade, if you want to see both parade and the Fantastic Show, um, the uh, Fantastic Show starts half through the parade and you don't want to skip through them. So I'll definitely do one day the parade and one day Fantastic. That's Fantastic, it's really good in Florida. So we'll see you on Tuesday and hopefully it'll be as good as Florida. And here we go, it was nice, Yay. nice long queue for bad. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Here we go! And favourite of the whole ride! Yeah. Yeah. Woo.
a bit of rush and you've now seen kind of what it's like over at theme parks to the Derricks. But yeah, we're now head over towards Black Mountain but I've done everyone else's reviews on Big Thunder Mountain first so and what do you think of it? I like Big Thunder Mountain usually is my favourite ride to the park. We tried this space my last version but this was actually the best um, Big Thunder Mountain set from Paris. I think Paris is just different because you're on the water and all that. That's a very very good um, Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, good. Paris is very unique and I don't think anything compares to it, but it's weather than Florida. And look at the scene around here. The only other Splash Mountain is actually at Florida. We have a fourth people in a row. Yeah. No, two people in a row. Well, basically, you've got one. So we sit the go. And Dad, what did you so think? So is it more like a log flume, this one, is it? Yeah, what did you think of okay. Big Hunter Mountain? Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think really enjoyed it, actually. One of the best. Really long ride, got loads of experience on it. Um, loads of different things. There's one section on it where in the second lift hill, you pass a goat. And they say, if you stare at the goat as you go back down the hill, you start to feel sick. It's called goat sick. And it's true, I did it. And <laughs> it makes you feel sick. So if you ever go, do that. Well, I'll have to do it next time, of course. Do you run Paris, though? No, I prefer that one. I like the fact that Paris is on an island, but I prefer that one. Do you actually? Yeah. Well, well, you go look at everyone's got different views at a theme park, and it's an nice thing to go more than just one person. Is that you get to experience all of those with the people? And here we go. It's really good. Cool. And yeah, really, yeah, really, really good scenery. I, I don't know if I prefer them for Florida, well, we're going to see in a bit. I just think of Florida, it kind of went on for a little bit too far, and it's not sort of what we can go in there for and have a bit of fun. It's kind of a half an hour ride, which is good, yes, of course, love long rides. But is it just like, is it going to make it better than Florida? We're going to find out in a sec. Yeah, and as well, this is very weird. This one of the only rides I haven't watched a pair of you of at Disney. Um, so I reckon I'll be like the Florida one a bit, but... Well, that's what I'm saying to you, but I reckon it'll be a really good ride in Because I think like, the flow was a bit too long. 
But again, my dad did say the Floyd and Wands car. Well, I don't think this will be that. So. Yeah, I mean, the station is kind of the same, just a smaller version. Like, everything's much thinner. <laughs> so it's the cars actually. But this is actually based off a film, which is not actually around anymore, and that's called Songs of the South. So I will say all about the movie in a bit, but it has been taken down with racism and everything. So if you start, if you can still see it, and I have luckily seen it, but I just don't understand why it's been taken down, and that's totally wrong around this world. But the, the classical Sibley Doodah's of today is from this actual movie, and that's what the ride is based off. So we're not going to have a Sibley Doodah, Sibley Day. Oh my, 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 what a wonderful ride. Let's go. Those arms, feet, and legs inside the wall to be sure to watch your kids. Have a zippity do that all right. Yeah, I'll have to watch your this. What? I'll have to watch your this. And already, actually, if you do a forward and then. Yeah, look around. Best view. Yeah, look at the other. But already, I'm loving this attraction. There's six things back there. And the dispatch was within like 10 seconds unbelievable speed. Dispatch was. Oh, let's go. Look at the world. Look at the best view of the forest up here. Yay! Yeah, look at that. Wow. A little drop right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, good friend. Uh oh. Have a bit of it. But more looks up there. Wow. Already love it. It looks so good. I love the soundtrack as well. Really good, yeah. Sure, it won't have the big bit at the end, I think, like Florida, but it should be a good ride. The quarter. Let's go. Ow. Woo! I am going to film the whole ride for you guys as well. So if you don't want to see it, skip forward, because I'm looking forward to this, and it's the first time for all of us. Wee!
most dense. Amazing. I know, it's fantastic. Oh, wow. What a way. What a way. Wow, that was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's over. Welcome home, guys. And that was our zippy food, our zippy day, right on Splash Mountain today. I love just love doing it, honestly. I know it's only my fun, I know I'm but I find it fun. And really good attraction, exactly the same layout as one in Florida, just a step from in Florida, much wider, but in California it's all much thin, and that's why we have one car. So I don't know if you can make a fair decision whether you prefer sit with someone or being compact. And I think that was really awesome. But will it count as a coaster credit? Because it went up a hill. I don't think it does, but... No, it does. Nah. But if you got it, you'll see what I mean. But the fire is going on now. And actually, so if you want to watch the fire, it's not for that castle. I'm here to still have a good view, actually, of it. So, if there's a fire that you're coming to watch, come over here and watch it from Splash Mountain. And you may get a ride as well. But, Dad, Mum, what do you think of it? Oh, or not. <laughs> okay, anyway, and what are you going to say? Yeah, well, that ride was a zifty dog ride. I lost it as well. Oh my, god, oh my god, oh my god. That's the hat I wanted oh to buy yeah, in America. That hat in like That's all I wanted to buy in America. I've got to buy that sometime here. I don't know why. I know, I don't know why I wanted to in America. It's but when I'm in Florida, but I really wanted that. You better get that one. I know. Yes. I have to get it. Now you're buying it. I, I'm buying it today. I, I wanted it in Florida. I didn't buy it on the first day. I went back yeah. the second day and they were all sold out. I couldn't get them. I looked in Paris, couldn't get them. So I now have to go and get them over here today. After this attraction on the Haunted Mansion. I hope it's not such a haunted visit that the hats run out. But it was a nice house. We're going to have a tea party, hopefully go around the art collection and around like the graveyard. Oh no! It is the Haunted Mansion. Makes it even more haunted. And then we're just done the Haunted Mansion with 999 happy fears from Mr. Wee's room for one more. And that is me. Yeah. And over fantastic stuff. And fantastic stuff for a minute. But with over 50 years of home fears, Adam has got a special 50 year magnet. It says um, Disney Resort, 50th anniversary, Haunted Mansion. And yeah, it says like it's every one more. Obviously, there is. Um, but yeah, the Haunted Mansion was amazing. Yeah, no, I, think, I think I'm going to get married. But yeah, this magnet. In, a, in like a year's time, we were thinking, well, this will be like, this will be in like the shelf that's really kept well on the theme park coaster room. I'm going to donate it to the room. Thank you very much, Sam. I always like people donate to the room because me and Adam do, yes, have our own little theme park stash. But most of it is up in the theme park coaster room. And it feels like forever since we've been in there. I remember uh, five weeks ago, actually, filming the episode where I announced our American road trip, which is quite awesome. And now we are over here yeah, actually right, doing the trip itself. So I'm going to look I'm forward to get it. back in here. And yes, oh. I got my day before the hat as well. And I don't wear it in the park because I'm not that embarrassing. However, I am warning you guys, guys, warning you, I'm going to wear her mini years tomorrow. So okay. try avoiding that vlog. Stay back. Yeah, stay back and warning you. You don't want to see it. However, there was only one pair which I think actually looks normal. Yeah. And that was a pair of slinky dog ones. Which look, <laughs> Pretty awesome, actually. I like my but, ears. But because, but because slinky dog. Yeah. Very good. And they're got And the parts can't be as good. But, but, but the reason because they look normal, yeah. Mum doesn't want them because normal stuff doesn't really suit no, her. No, not at all. So if she got those, I would like it. But nah, it's an everyone's like choice. Slinky dog. I think they're cool. Yes, yes. But they all donate ten to water. Yeah. But the end of a holiday, you've got to get them, Mum. You've got to get them. Yeah. I like the slinky dog. Yeah, and there's a person I've been passing that and Swiss Family Robinson. Actually, when I was younger, they used to have a favourite movie, I know. I think it was, I think it was around the time that I was in year six of the Animal Robinson's one. So, where did yeah. you just say? What was your favourite movie? The Animal Robinson's. Oh, yeah, 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 basically. Yeah. I used to watch that all the time. Yeah. 
and also I enjoyed Robin Hood. So when I was out in the wild <laughs> and stuff, movie. I think it was Robin Hood when I was in year four to five, and it's Samuel Robinson when I was in year six to I think like eight. But now I'm getting to year ten and see what one of his favorite movie is. We're still gonna find out. However, that Lion King that just came out was very good. Yeah, but there's still much more to come. Yeah, make sure to see Lion King in like, I see a beast land. But personally, I've been talking about it. It's the best movie in the world. Come on, just stay quickly. Stay quickly. This is the Jungle Cruise, and there's actually one tree near here, oh, yeah. which is the original tree on the plot. So we're going to have to search it up before we come back. Maybe. But we found out that only one of these trees, so when Disney, well, Walt Disney bought the land to create this. Well, almighty theme park. But owners of the other land planted one tree. And they said you can have the land as long as you keep this one tree here for the whole ever time of Disney. And it is still preserved with this forest. And I will have to find it for you on time. But it is still here with everything else for the rest of the time. So if you watch our vlog, coming very shortly, when we head back here for a whole day, we'll be able to find that tree. As well as one which I think is a storybook tree. It has like a little hole in one of a mouse, doesn't it? Oh. We saw one tree that has a little like oh, yeah. hole of like a door for a mouse and stuff. <laughs> yeah, there was you. Yeah. And all these little things we'll show you next time. But I need to refresh my memory on my Disney stuff so we can find it for you and have a much more interesting vlog next time. But now we're gonna head back around, go to some more shops, and I think it's around 10 o'clock now. Yeah. But we need to get back to the hotel to film, well not film. I'm packing a bag because literally when we got here, I had to jump off the car and I hope you saw a travel vlog because that was the end of it unfortunately. We had to jump off the car and we had 15 minutes to do so. So we had to rush in the hotel, jump our bags and then run to the car. Then we went over towards Denny's, favourite restaurant on the very, very love it. <laughs> Me and Adam are not ones in fussy eaters, are we? No, but we just like particular things. Yeah. So it's just Denny. That's right. exactly the thing I fussy used to say. But, um, <laughs> but we're going to go to And um, that's the only place that we all like. Because I am, I can admit, I'm very fussy on puddings. So I don't like ice cream, lollies, sweets, anything like that. I know, so many people are going to be unsubscribing at the moment. Yeah. But, so we went to Denny's and after that, we went over towards uh, Literally, we just saw the Disney entrance across there. We thought, oh my god, we have to go there. So we literally went to Disney Springs, and after the surprise came up, as we walked into the world of Disney, that we were going to be heading into this park this evening. I've got to say one thing. Most of us go to Denny's in Anaheim, and they're very good. They're basically opposite the entrance, and they're a very good um, restaurant. Uh, except for, we didn't have any ice cream today, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, because they were running out. But anyway, we're at Disney, so. Well, they say they're running out, because actually, many restaurants are opposite here, because unlike all the other Disney's, this all is like Casey's in, 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 in Disney. It was like Casey's hot dogs, and uh, I love hot dogs there. But I don't know if it's here or not. But what? Yeah, honestly, if you do go over here, as I was saying, I'm kind of afraid to choose. Chocolate apple, they're my favourite. Yeah, get ready for Halloween. Both people have to make chocolate apples all day. And again, I don't like sweets, so it feels weird for me. However, if you, as I said, if you are coming down here towards the street and you go to Disney, all the, unlike Disneyland, Paris, and if you love that, the road is actually just before you enter. So, there's many restaurants down there, and they kind of rush you a little bit due to all the popularity of everyone walking out, and no one spends this expensive money over at Disney Springs. But now, not Disney Springs, that's at Disney. But now, we're going to head around here and show you inside some more shops at Disneyland California. I know what I'm saying. And then I've got this plate trying to go in. Yeah, I've seen them. And that marks the end of our day today. But before I sum up the rest of it, tomorrow we're heading down there just across there towards Disney California Adventure to do many crack in the Credit Coaster and I know I messed up the words here. Cars wise and many more just like that. But I'm gonna ask Adam, wow. We only done that, well, basically half of Magic Kingdom today. I'm not going to Magic Kingdom, I'm going to Disneyland Park. How does that feel? It feels amazing. But Adam, we only done half of Disneyland Park. And it's been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been 
Yeah, like you can't go wrong. When people, when I watched YouTube videos, and people said it's original one, it's their favourite one. I got announced out of every, out of all the, um, uh, I think it's like, uh, out of one six parks I've been to, no, seven parks now, this is my favourite park. I haven't been to seven Disney parks. Here we have four in Florida, uh, oh, one yeah, here, yeah. and then two yeah, in yeah. Paris. Oh, yeah, yeah but, there's actually seven in the world, I think there is. But we're talking about ones like all yeah, the individual yeah. parks, but but yeah, like it's just incredible. There's the monorail. Monorail. It's just like the atmosphere that I can get in here. Like when we didn't know about, it, we were like, oh please, can we go in today? But one thing tomorrow as well, I have you already announced we're going to the venture park. Here. Yeah. But we, but that was that is going to be my first ever drop, um, like Titanic ride, going to the galaxy. Yeah, exactly. And you may notice right now that we're actually heading out of the park this way. But tomorrow, we're going to be heading out of the park the opposite way. As we are staying inside the Disneyland Hotel. But for our first day today, we, as we didn't think we were going to come in, we we're going to go around this way. And we're a bit stuck at the moment. But. Have you done? Yeah. It's good. Really good. And after all that confusion, Dad, what are you going to do today? Brilliant. Breathtakingly brilliant, I tell you. Woke up in San Diego this morning, uh, a little bit of time on the beach, and then uh, thought we'd pop to Disneyland, which we weren't planning on doing actually, and it was like, wow, what a day. But was it worth what the 40 pound dollars? 40 dollars, 40 pounds. Well, 40 pound. um, it's probably worth about 150 pounds, yeah. Uh, got loads done, uh, it's been a fantastic start, a bit tired now, got to go to walk to other hotels about half a mile away, and then we're going to get up early and come into the Disneyland Hotel tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, and actually you can check into the Disneyland Hotel and drive your luggage at from 5 a.m. So we're going to get in one of these. You get your room from 3. You look, you can check in from 5 a.m. but you don't get your room till 3 p.m. Yeah. Uh, and as well, what's I just noticed, you look at that Toy Story bus here, yeah, he's Amazon. And as well as my favorite kind of slinky dog, yeah. slash Forky. It's very, it's a very and good movie. I just like, this area doesn't have a uh, Toy Story Land, yeah. does it? No, I don't think it does. Um, and they ship. I think they've got Jess's Carousel in the other part tomorrow and they've got Toy Story Mania but they don't have a proper land like Paris and Florida now they don't really have a proper land so I think that'll be one of the next investments of the park Yeah, I'll okay. do I think, uh, yeah. oh, but I can't complain actually and I will be exiting the park showing you exactly where Danny's is and see you to see the temptation honestly in all the restaurants and in all the hotels and like that they've all been directing towards this area there's banners down the road and just really amazing and looking at the bus there and all the Legoland, Disneyland, SeaWorld, Universal Hollywood, San Diego Zeus and all these other so we've been to most of them actually and Dad, I'll ask you what, is this better than Florida? It's so hard isn't it? It does feel magical, I don't think it's, it's better in the respect that it feels more magical it's a smaller park, so everything feels more condensed, Star Wars Land is just unbelievable um, but you wouldn't again, you know, we spent three weeks in Florida. You would probably wouldn't spend three weeks here. It depends what you want to do, really. So, so what would you prefer? Uh, for, for, for like both different reasons. Yeah, I, I don't have a favourite. And then mum, <laughs> what did you think of? Did they say? Our first evening there. But first, of course, I'll add because they were pink. Yeah, of course they were there. I was tapping you like. Yeah. Um, but, do you ever talk about Denny's earlier? Where I said it was straight across the street, Denny's is just there. Very good. Okay, yeah, what's up there, uh, Denny? I'm going back to you guys anyway. like that. What did you think of your day? Awesome. Yeah, a really awesome start to the next few days. Um, just like Steve said, it's something about the original park it seems very magical. Um, yeah, really loved it. I loved um, what was my favourite ride? Thunder Mountain, I think. Yeah, that was awesome. Nice ride, but what do you think? Florida. Hmm? It's a Florida. It's a Florida. Gosh. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet about, but I would say they're level pegging. Definitely, because yeah. this was really magical. And Adam, what's your visa Florida? What? Visa Florida. This. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, the first day, like, whoa, 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 and yeah. stuff. But I do also believe that it is a, well, like an amazing park, because I have been to Florida quite a few times. We must have been for three weeks to Florida. But at the moment, I think it, this could possibly be better. It is an even chance. I'm not going to be able to say they're good for different reasons. It's just a boring ask to say. But I've got to say, in all honesty, that I think I might edge towards this. But over the next 
four days we'll be heading all around here and checking it all out but now it's time to end the vlog as we walk down the street just towards our hotel and unpack however i won't be showing you inside this hotel we will be showing you inside the disneyland resort hotel so thank you for watching and see you soon my name is Tom Derek from Theme Hunt Coasting and today we're over here at Disneyland, California, Anaheim and goodbye.